Baby, donde tú quieras, yo paso a buscarte. Tú esperame afuera, pa' si no llamas. Welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing great, like I am. And we're gonna, re we're gonna react today with the most dangerous stuff in the universe. Strange stars explained. Um, I wonder what's in these stars that make them so dangerous. I don't know. Um, I do know I like looking up this, uh, at the sky and just wonder what could be in these stars or on these stars. I realize stars are gas, you know, but there's more to it than that. So we're going to learn a lot today. I don't know too much about stars, but I do know they are beautiful in a dark sky. Let's check it out. Let's react to it. Let's see what we can learn together. Let's do this. Neutron stars are the densest things that are not black holes. Wow. In their cores, we might find the most dangerous substance in existence. What is it? Strange matter. Strange. A bizarre thing so extreme that it bends the rules of the universe and could infect and destroy everything it comes into Holy contact with. Holy crap. Or it could teach us about how the universe began. Maybe both. So could we like put this on a nuke like and then destroy something? I don't know, but let's keep going on. To understand how extreme strange matter really is, we first need to get a few basics. Let's do that. What is a neutron star and how does strange matter break the rules of the universe? I don't know. To get all of this into one video, we'll grossly oversimplify a few things, but we'll provide you with further reading if you want more details. Simplified's good. A neutron star is what remains after a very massive star explodes in a supernova. Wow. When this happens, the star like collapses under its own gravity with such a strong inward force that it squeezes nuclei and particles together violently. Whew. Electrons are pushed into protons, so they merge and turn into neutrons. All the nothing inside of atoms is suddenly completely filled with particles that really don't want to be close to each other, but have no choice. That they sounds bad. Push back against gravity, against the collapse. If gravity wins, they will become a black hole. If they win, they become a neutron star. That's amazing. This makes neutron stars like giant atomic nuclei the size of a city, but holding the mass of our sun. And here... The mass of a sun! But a nuke size of a city. Oh my god. You just can't wrap, I can't wrap my head head around that. That just sounds like it could destroy the whole universe, but I guess that's how the universe was created. That's just so much so much energy, man. So much. Things get weird. The environment in the core of neutron stars is so extreme that the rules of nuclear physics change. And this could lead to a strange and extremely dangerous substance. But don't know how to deal with themselves. it. We first need to know the rules before we learn how they can be broken. Protons and neutrons, the particles making up the nuclei of atoms, are made up of smaller particles called quarks. Right. Quarks really don't want to be alone. They are what we call confined. You can try to separate them, but the harder you pull, the harder they try to pull themselves back together. Dang. If you use a lot of energy, they just use this energy to create new quarks. Quarks only exist together as the building blocks of other particles. They sound strong as hell. By themselves. They come in many types, but only two appear to make stable matter. The up and down quarks. Proton, neutron. Protons and neutrons. Yes. All other quarks seem to decay away quickly. But this may be different. They're the weaklings. Stars. The forces operating in their cores are so extreme that they are actually similar to the universe shortly after the Big Bang. Neutron star cores are like fossils, which can let us peer back in time to the beginning of everything. That's amazing. So learning how quarks behave inside a neutron star you can look is a way in of the future. I mean, the, very the past. Of the universe itself. Yes, the past. One hypothesis is that inside a neutron star core, protons and neutrons deconfine. All the particles cram shoulder to shoulder, dissolve and melt into a sort of bath of quarks. Wait. Like a big one. Uncountable numbers of particles become one giant thing made purely from quarks. Quark matter. That sounds powerful. A star made from this is called a quark star, though from the outside it may not look any different than a regular neutron star. There's a time now, bomb in there. We talk about the most dangerous substance. If the pressure inside a quark star is great enough, it may get stranger. Literally. 
in the cores of neutron stars, they strange change. quarks may be converted into strange quarks. Strange quarks have bizarre nuclear properties, and they are heavier, and for the lack of a better word, stronger. If they turn up, Ooh. they could create strange matter. Strange matter might be the ideal state of matter. Perfectly dense, perfectly stable, indestructible. Perfectly strong. More stable than any other matter in the universe. So stable that it can exist outside neutron stars. If this is the case, we have a problem. Oh. It might be infectious. Ooh. Every piece of matter it touches might be so impressed by its stability that it would immediately turn it into strange matter. Holy too. crap! Protons and neutrons like turn us into it and become part of the quark bath, which frees energy and creates it just grows. Matter. Grows. The only way to get rid of it would be to throw it into a black hole. But then again, who cares? All of it is inside neutron stars. Except is it? Neutron stars collide with other neutron stars or black holes. I near to say that. Tremendous amounts of their insides, some of which could include little droplets of strange matter called strangelets. Strangelets are as dense as the core of a neutron star. They could be really small, maybe even subatomic, but Holy even crap. the largest strangelets wouldn't be any bigger than a rocket. These strangelets would drift through the galaxy for millions or billions of years until they meet a star or planet by chance. Ooh, what happens? If one were to strike Earth, it would immediately start converting it into strange matter. Oh my god. The more it converts, the more it would grow. Ultimately, all of the atoms making up Earth would be converted. Earth would become a hot clump of strange matter the size of an asteroid. If a strange lit strikes the sun, oh. it would collapse into a strange star, eating through it like fire through a dry forest. No more sun! This would not change the sun's mass much, but it would become way less bright, so Earth would freeze to death. We're and screwed either way! Hours, we'd have no way to see a strange lit coming. Worse still, some theories suggest strangelets are more than common, outnumbering all stars in the galaxy. How do we not get hit? could have formed very early after the Big Bang, when it was as hot and dense as a neutron star core everywhere. This is scary stuff! It be clumping around the gravity of galaxies as the universe expanded and evolved. Strangelets could even be so numerous and massive that they might actually be the dark matter we suspect holds galaxies together. But then again, makes maybe, sense. This is speculation, and the Earth and Sun and planets haven't been consumed in a wildfire of strangelets in the past few billion years, so the odds seem good that it won't happen anytime soon. Hopefully so, or they're due. <laughs> understanding these strange objects today may be the key to understanding the birth of our universe and why it grew to look the way it does now. It's a beautiful when universe. When first started playing with magnets and wires and thinking about electrons, they had no idea how technology would evolve in the next hundred years. The scientists thinking about the cause of neutron stars and strange matter today may be setting up humans for a future beyond our wildest imaginations. Trap it. Not. Time will tell. Somehow, per so hour one. waiting to see if the universe gets destroyed, you might still want to find out more about it. We've got you. Interesting, now, man. Brilliant can be your insight into a whole world of science, black holes and all. Brilliant is a website that helps you tackle science in a practical way. With Sounds like a cool website. Solving courses and daily challenges in maths, logic, and engineering. Each problem gives you all the tools you need to crack complex topics all by yourself. It's learning by knowledge is power, baby. Instead of your hands, use your curiosity to get to the bottom of puzzles and courses about things like classical mechanics, astronomy, gravitational physics, and much more. If you click the link brilliant.org slash nutshell. nutshell, you can sign up for free and learn more things. I'm gonna have to know. try that. I love and learning. An extra perk for Kurzgesagt viewers, the first 688 people to use the link get 20% off their annual membership, which lets you view all the daily problems in the archives and unlock every course. Brilliant helps you end your 20% off. Is good. You might get hooked on the experience. Absolutely. But that was a freaking amazing episode. Learned a lot about stuff I knew nothing about, but could you imagine? Could you imagine if they somehow corralled just a little piece, a little piece of the strange and put it in a nuke? You wouldn't want to do that. The Earth's gone. Um, you'd totally destroy the Earth. But hopefully one never hits the sun because I don't want to freeze to death. 
And hopefully one never hits the earth because I don't want to turn into the strange. Nobody wants to be the strange. I don't want to be the strange. I'm sure you don't want to be the strange. But um, it'd be cool if we could use the energy from it somehow. But I don't know how we would do that. How, how could you come in contact with it if everything it touches turns it into itself? I don't know if we'll ever do that. Hopefully we just learn a lot about it and um, hopefully it never hits us. But that, this is a scary topic in my opinion. It's kind of scary to me. I don't know. What do you think about it? Comment down below and let me know. Let me know what you're thinking. If you want to join my channel, please do hit that subscribe button. But like I said, definitely comment. I love reading all the comments. Peace for now.